Alright guys, so same old Raw, new year, nothing's changed, I know I kind of wanted it to, but nothing has changed, and I feel like, well, let me turn the fan down, go ahead and turn it back up, one second, I don't know what I'm doing here, alright, we're back, I mean, that's how Raw was today, it was boring, let's be quite honest. There was one thing that I gave a fuck about. Oh, actually, two because of the Goldberg thing. But there was two things that I gave a fuck about. One was Baron Strowman in that fucking Sami Zayn match. That was great. That last man standing match was amazing. Titus and no dancing pissed me off. But um, we started off the show with Mick Foley out there. He's gonna. He shaved off all the facial hair. And I'm gonna be honest, he looks older. Like, he looks like he's sick with the. Uh, as I'm hitting my mic, with the facial hair gone and everything. He just looks sick. Like, I, I don't know why I would say that, but it just. I don't know. And then everybody comes out. Whatever. They make two matches Sami Zayn. Not Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins again. Now, I didn't give a fuck. I fast forwarded through the whole thing. Um. And it was disqualification, so Kevin Owens can't be in Chris Jericho's corner. It doesn't matter because they're not gonna let. They're not gonna make it to where their favorite, their guy, Roman Reigns, has to lose. For Christ's sakes, no more shit again this week. It's just, just stop it. Stop pushing the dude. No one gives a fuck. You find the one guy sitting by himself who's clapping for Roman Reigns and your little fan reaction things you do all the time. No one gives a fuck. So, stop pushing him before everybody, I'm gonna throw some more, okay, before everybody just stops and gives the fuck up. You're already losing now, as last week you were losing SmackDown ratings, it's gonna happen again this week. No one gives a fuck. No, no one gives a fuck. Just stop the damn thing. You know, I was just maybe hoping that Raw would be better since 2017, but why would I get my hopes up? Why? Why? I, nothing changed. Not interesting. So don't give a fuck. But, you know, we gotta get past it. Because, you know, whatever. We had Braun Strowman versus Sami Zayn. The last man standing match. Thank you for that. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Dude. When Sami Zayn hit that crossbody off the stage. Through, and he put Strowman through a table. Like, oh man, Sami Zayn might be able to win this. When they get up at like 7, and Sami Zayn has that chair, and he grabs Sami Zayn, like, just slings him, and he goes sliding down the uh, ramp to the ring, and they get back over to the side, and he is power slamming Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn gets up, it's about 9, and he's just like, fucking doing it again. Picks him up, power slams him, like, I thought that was crazy good. Um, my one low point for this match was, of course, it was fucking Michael Cole. I'm not, I just, I just, I can't. He does this little, oh no. Oh no. Bitch, please do something better than, oh no, when you're getting hit in a fucking big ass screen. Just stop with the, oh no. Can you be like Jim Ross? Oh my god. Oh my god. We need that kind of reaction for a last man standing match than just some simple, oh no. Oh no! Just stop. You you ruined the damn match when you do shit like that. But luckily, they killed it. I mean, thank you for that. I mean, man, it was a good match. After the match, when they had Sami Zayn out on a stretcher because Braun Strowman won, Braun Strowman said, "Yeah, fuck that shit." Went back over there, and again just picks him up and launches him into the ring barricade. I loved it. I loved it. Thank you for. That you made the night. Not really, because it still kind of sucked after, after, the, after that. When I swear, the new day came out. They were doing their little New Year's resolutions. I was young. It was a snore fest, guys. Um, the, the most hideous thing I've ever seen. Okay, I'm here. I got to pay attention. Don't shit Titus O'Neil 
came out there. Wanted to join the New Day. I thought we were done with him on TV. I mean, I used to well, just enjoy Titus Neal, and then he got suspended. Then I had a match with Rusev. Kissed his son on the lips. His teenage son on, on the lips. Hey, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything more about that, but I just, just no one gives a fuck about you anymore. Then he had those awful promos on Darren Young. Just it's, it's shit for him and get him off TV. Just stop it. Stop it all. Um, he loses to Xavier Woods in a decent match. It was decent. Like I said, I used to enjoy tons of stuff and just kind of just faded away. Like, I don't give a fuck no more. Um, the match between Carl Anderson and Cesaro was alright. That neck break off the top was pretty damn cool. Um, but really, kind of boring match. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm just done with Raw. You know, I try to be consistent with these reactions or reviews, whatever I'm going to call it tonight. I might just call it reactions because I don't give a fuck. But when I wanted to start doing this more consistently, but sometimes I just can't. You're lucky I'm even doing this tonight. I'm fucking tired as fuck. I did not think I was going to be able to make it through the whole show. But they knew they were going to put Goldberg at the end so more people stay. I doubt they do. We'll look at the, um, how much views they got and shit, but I don't know. It's gonna be, it's gonna be weird. I think they're gonna lose again to SmackDown. That's what Raw does to you tonight. This reaction review is just crazy and off the wall. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't give a fuck. Um, we had and more Cruiserweights. I enjoy the Cruiserweight stuff. 205 Live is awesome. Um, we had Drew Gulak, don't enjoy his work, versus um, Cedric Alexander. And it's basically the same thing as 205 Live, but Drew Gulak was on the outside and Tony East was in the, in the ring. And it's pretty much the same thing. They, Alicia Fox cost Cedric Alexander the win again. So, really pretty much the same thing as 205 Live, but the match is okay, I guess. We had Brian Kendrick versus TJ Perkins. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I don't give a crap about TJ Perkins anymore. TJ Perkins was my pick to win the 205, no, the CWC. I said that my first episode, he's like, I'm picking TJ Perkins. I didn't expect him to win. He had all the momentum in the world until they put him on Raw, and no one gave a shit. So, you know what? Hey. I don't know. Not, I don't know if I'm going to call this review or reactions. Um... We had Roman Reigns, oh god, his bitch ass, versus Chris Jericho. Um, I like the Eddie Guerrero thing Chris Jericho did. I enjoyed that. Every other part of the match was shit because Roman Reigns oh, walks out as United States Champion again. Why? He doesn't make the title worth anything around his waist. No one gives, well, he just throws it around like it's nothing. So it, he doesn't even give a fuck about it, obviously. I don't even... Oh, God. They need to get this belt on somebody else, so... It'll mean something. Just make it mean something for people who care about the title, because they don't when it's around Roman Reigns' fucking... piece of shit. And Emelina. Didn't show up again. And I, I am beginning to think that she's not going to show up. And, and I just, it's not going to happen. You know, she looked as fuck in their little montage of pictures. But it's never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. I'm done with it. I mean, just fuck it. Roman Reigns was again. And like I said, I'm just... We have seen the same thing for four months. Whenever Finn Balor got injured, after that it's been the same exact bullshit for four months or however long it's been we have not seen new people get into the main event scene after that Braun Strowman match he better be in the main event and that should have been the main event but the Kevin Owens thing with Goldberg I guess it was fine I guess um so we're gonna go ahead and get into this Rusev 
Jenner Mahal versus the normal big cast, which I'll be right back, but Okay. That match was terrible. I'm just gonna say. Um they had to rush it. Enzo couldn't compete. Cast gets destroyed. We had for some reason at ten forty motherfucking seven we had Bailey versus Nia Jax. It ended at ten fifty. Why? And I just gotta ask, this is light. I got it on. It's kind of bright. It makes my face look all weird. But, you know, I don't know if we go this way. There we go. But it's just. Make Raw two hours. God. This match could have been something. I mean, Sasha Banks gets involved. Bailey wins. I would, Nice Bailey to Bailey off the top row, but it was just so damn short. That cat thing with Cass. And the Nia Jax and Bailey, that should have been longer. But you had two cruiser matches. You could have had one, made those matches longer. But yet you are you're gonna you're gonna put on the fucking Goldberg on the Kevin Hart show right at fucking year eleven. Who wants to watch that shit? I'm just gonna continue throwing shit at this point. Who I guess all the place know. Who wants to see this shit this late at night? Oh god. I can't, dude. I don't know if I'll continue on with these raw reviews, guys. It's crap. Well, tonight we're gonna call it reaction because I don't really give a fuck. I'm changing up. I don't know. I don't know. Raw sucks. Goldberg thing came on so late, I didn't even really care. Just, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Uh, make raw two hours again. So, this whole thing, I mean, it was entertaining. I didn't need all these people coming out because I was just focused on Goldberg. The Paul Heyman thing was pretty good. It's just so over 11 o'clock right now. Why are you still going on with this shit? Oh, God. Yeah, dude. This should have started the show. We shouldn't have the stupid Roman Reigns match and Seth Rollins match. We could have substituted in the cast and the Nia Jax match. Nia Jackson and Bailey match had those longer, more entertaining. Said the same shit reading every month. This just started the show, not gone over fucking whatever. How many over 11? Stop the whole damn thing, please. I didn't give a crap. I stopped watching when mm -hmm. the rains came out, the whole the whole thing in the end. And I honestly don't give a fuck. It ruined the whole Goldberg thing for me. The, the Paul Heyman thing made sense because that's how the robbery is going. But why is Roman Reigns out here? I got enough of his ass earlier in the show. Don't break his fuck back here, dude. Man, I'm done with this. Raw, you you gotta if next week if Raw's not good by nine o'clock, first hour sucks. I'm out. I mean, next week Undertaker and Shawn Michaels probably just addressing some rumors. Don't think Shawn Michaels actually gonna compete at WrestleMania or in the Raw Rumble. And Undertaker, I thought he was supposed to be on fucking SmackDown. Great job. Fucking you fucked up. I'm out. Like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much for watching.